Hey, how's it going? I just want to do a quick review of a pair of headphones I've been using for almost a month now. All right, so right here, called the Planetronics Backbeat Fit 6100s Wireless Sport. Now, these headphones have been doing me pretty good last month. Um, I have them here. Now, very comfortable pair of headphones, all right? They are made of plastic. There's some rubber here for grip. Now I got hair on my head, but this inner part here is made of rubber. So for people who have bald heads, there's enough grip to keep that head and keep that headset on. Uh, this right here is a soft cloth material. Uh, I don't know what, what the idea was in having soft cloth material that can get pretty dirty, but they're great. Like I said, I've been using it for a month now. They look still look pretty brand new. Here's something cool here. Check this out. This little strap is a tensioner. Unclap it, right? And what it does, it softens the grip up. Right? When you're ready to, let's say if you want to get into something a bit more, um, a bit more animalistic, going for a tight run or something like that, you can pull on that tensioner, right? pull there, and it'll tighten up. And it'll clamp down on that head strap for you. Uh, ear material, ear cuff material, very soft. I don't want to really take it apart. I don't know how easy it is to take apart. Yeah, but it is removable. How about just go ahead and do it? Removable. Mm, look at that. Okay. Inside of it is foam material. So if you want to get that really good deep wash, um, that seems to be protected pretty well. Uh, and here is the driver. Now, now I will tell you this right here. This ear cuff is not that thick to protect the ears from hitting the drivers. My ears hit it all the time. But I will tell you, because of how light the headphones are, it has not been a problem. Now, for headphones, let me, let me stop for a second. These headphones cost me 60 bucks, no more than 70 bucks. And I think right now you can find them on Amazon. If I can, I'll find the link and put it down in the description. But right now you can probably find them for 50 bucks. Uh, as of today, as of May 24, 2020. So really good pair of headphones. They have Bluetooth functionality, Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, on the description of the box, I have not used these, uh, used this bit of technology yet, but it has multi-point technology and I imagine that's through the app so if you want that added functionality you have to go through the app uh, these are touch control now one thing I had to learn when using these headphones is that when you're using them you want to press your finger on it first it's going to do it's very quick but when you touch your finger it's going to be a beep and then you'll slide to do the gesture so sliding forward is skipping forward uh, going backwards is uh, rewinding back to the uh, back to the previous track, or going back to the to the beginning of the current track. Uh, up worse is the volume, down worse is volume down. All right, but again, it's really tricky when you first do it. You gotta tap your finger on it for a second, for like half a second. You hit the beat, and then you do the gesture. Now these things are really sensitive. And one of the bad things about it being really sensitive is since it's a workout headphones. If you're doing some kind of workout that requires you to have your arms close to your head or the bar or something like that, uh, there's this one machine we used to call it the bear when I was in football. Basically, you, you, know, you get down in a flat position, your head is like enclosed uh, within this rack, but you basically explode from the hip upwards. Kind of It helps with the explosive hip drive. Anyways, when I did at the workout machine, or when I did the other day, um, this, uh, the touch sensitivity was the touch sensitivity was so sensitive that every time it tapped my ear cuff, it'll pause my music and it kind of drove me crazy. All right, so listening experience is very very good. There's enough bass. The bass isn't crazy, so let's be honest, it's not going to blow you away. But there's enough bass there to truly appreciate it. I appreciate the highs. I appreciate the mids. Nothing sound muddy. These headphones do not get that loud, and that's probably good. Reason why I say that's good because because it doesn't get that loud. There's not a lot of opportunity for 
uh, certain frequencies to overpower the others. Like I said, I've never had a moment where I felt like the bass was overpowering the mids and the mids was getting away too scratchy. And my watch did on numerous occasions. Almost every single time I used it, it would tell me, hey, the volume's too loud. But it, was, it felt more like a 70% loudness with any other pair of headphones I've had. Okay. Um, what else I need to go over? <sighs> All right. Again, so uh, the box says there's 24 hours of listener time. 15 minute charge gets you six hours, six hours of workout. I've charged these headphones one time, I think maybe twice. Uh, and every time I, I crank them up, except for uh, yesterday when I cranked them up, I turned them on, they said um, power levels at medium. But because I had them for almost a month and I've only had them charged twice. Uh, there's three frequency presets, uh, sound signature presets. There's a signature balance, bass boost, and bright on the ear. Again, like I said before, it's Bluetooth 5.0. So you get not the latest. I think right now it's like 5.3. So it's not the exact latest, but you only pay 60 bucks for them, and they work completely well. I can listen to music just fine. I can watch videos just fine. It's not going to give you the, the, the lowest latency when it comes to sound, but I promise you it's almost, distinct, uh, almost indistinguishable between uh, regular uh, listening sessions has a standby of 20 days. And I think that's what I was saying before. I use, you know, look, I power them on for when I'm working out. When I'm working out, I turn them off and I don't. And I get to them usually almost all the time except for uh, yesterday when I crank them up. They're at um, they're at high battery capacity. Uh, fully charged in two hours. That's impressive. That's impressive. We don't need that much. I think the 15 minutes with six hours of listening time is pretty good. So two hours fully charge it. Yada, 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 yada. Now, one of the downsides of it, it uses micro USB to charge. Now, it uses Bluetooth 5.0, so this is not an extremely old pair of head, like headset, but, it, but it's charging using micro USB. So that is a uh, downside. And again, right there in the box, is multi-point technology. So if this is a pair of headphones, if you're looking for a pair of headphones that you can connect to, say, your phone or iPad or to your computer, uh, this it's a pretty good pair of headphones. Uh, one of the things I like looking for, especially multi-point functionalities, is um, the ability to use both my iOS and my Android devices. And since these do have the multi-point technology, I can do that comfortably. Whereas, you know, typically with a lot of Apple uh, audio devices, AirPods, whatnot, like I got here in my ear, they seamlessly connect between the iPhone, iPad, MacBook, all the good stuff, my Apple TV. So I don't have a problem there. Uh, but finding good multi-point multi -point, um, things for Android, that that's typically is a challenge. Um, so here we go, 60 bucks. Again, these are super lightweight. You can't go wrong with it. Anyways, I'm going to try to keep it short. I know we're at eight minutes now. I might trim it down a little bit. Anyways, very good pair of headphones for 60 bucks. I highly, highly recommend getting them. Uh, one more thing to note, I am a big Apple Music user. One of my biggest issues is that when using Apple Music, the music was never that loud. It always sounded a bit more distant and more muddy. When I use um, streaming services like Google, uh, YouTube Music, which is strange because not a lot of people use YouTube Music, but since I have a YouTube subscription, yeah, yeah, I use it. So when using YouTube Music, music sounds perfectly fine. Great experience. Um, all in all, really good hit, a pair of headphones. I think one more thing would have made these things perfect. If maybe they had um, maybe like an internal storage, storage on device, so I can save music directly to the headphones. I will need a separate device for it, uh, as far as phone goes. But uh, anyways, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you're interested, again, they're called the Planetronics Backbeat Fit 6100s. I'll try to put a link down at the bottom, see if I can get you, uh, if you get a pair quickly as possible. Again, really good pair of headphones for the money and for the gym. Thank you.